Ah, good morning. Try to keep this as professional and as short as possible. I've been marinating on this for a couple days, but honestly, there's no right way to go about it. So however it comes out, it comes out and that's it. So a few months ago, as y'all know, um, my lady had left her job, right? And uh, she worked for Smokey Jones for a while. I got to see firsthand many of things that weren't cool to say the least. But anyway, she left, right? Thought that was it. And then a couple months ago on a public app, Snapchat, I came across an R story and our story. You know, you could post, post your snaps and uh, publicly. It was shared already but it was a thread of employees and ex-employees of Smokey Jones. Highlighting the many things that they have to go through or deal with and the unprofessionalism, because let's not get it twisted, the unprofessionalism that goes on over there. Now mind you, okay, I shared that shit. I put it on, on YouTube and on Instagram. Now, whether or not that may be considered defamatory I don't know. I'm not a legal expert, so I don't know. But what I do know is, from, from what I've said, right, I've seen it firsthand, all right? I'm a humor, y'all, and I'm gonna take the fucking videos. I already took them down anyways. The YouTube one and the Instagram post. Just because of legalities that may come associated with Jess, even though she hasn't been working there, not even when we came across that shit, was she an employee there? So whatever clause y'all might have agreed to, she's no longer an employee. Unless in that clause says that no matter what, even after you leave Smokey Jones, you can never speak about them. Y'all got it fucked up. Okay? So anyways, a couple days ago, I come home from work and I get this fucking beautiful letter. From a janky ass lawyer that they have, which mind you, she has many uh, bad reviews herself, saying she should be sued, dropping clients and whatnot, but hey, that's neither here nor there, right? So it says, this law firm represents Smokey Jones LLC, Smokey Jones or the company, with respect to this matter involving you and your wife, Jessica Grivna. It has come to our attention that on or, or about November 16, 2022, you posted certain videos regarding Smokey Jones LLC on YouTube, the videos. You did so under the handle, sick thought. That's me, motherfuckers. The videos are available the following links. There was two videos, it was a short, and then it was a regular one, right? I remember that. The videos are defamatory. They contain several false statements of fact that injure, that are injurious to Smokey Jones' reputation. That's hilarious. You know why? Because them fucking videos barely got any views. Maybe like 30 views or some shit at the most. And y'all been sucking ass at business because you're fucking faulty as shit. That's not my fault. But of course, the face to it, right? Y'all came across a face to one of the many people sharing y'all shit. Because trust me, it's been shared not by us, by other people. So good luck finding them fools too. Right, but you're only going to target me and Jess because she had left and y'all salty. But okay. Smokey Jones, these, these, I guess this is the quote. Smokey, John, Smokey Jones, Smoke Shop, and Vape selling fake products, intimidating and abusing their employees, which y'all do, but whatever. Okay, let's act like that's defamatory. Smokey Jones has been allegedly selling fake vape products in order to overprice their products. Look at your reviews, bro. Y'all got reviews of people saying that you sold them inaccurate shit on top of the claims of employees, both former and current. So... All right, let's keep reading though. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Where the fuck is this shit? In the videos, you post certain confidential information, which is, okay, I get that again, because I shared the, the thread. I understand, and that's why I took that down, right? Under the non-compete agreement signed by Griffin on June 27, 2022. Again, she was not, she's not a fucking current employee, nor was she an employee when that shit was uploaded, all right? Grimna had no legal right to share with you and she didn't share with me shit. Again, it was on Snapchat, a public fucking forum or app. So get that shit right. She agreed to indemnify the company for all the losses and attribute to any unauthorized disclosure. Oh, please. That's fucking hilarious. Post similar content 
All right. Smokey Jones also requests that you immediately remove the video statements from YouTube, which I did, and Instagram, and agree never to repost them or to publish videos or statements from YouTube and Instagram and agree never to repost them. Oh, my bad. Or publish any other defamatory or disparaging statements of or concerning the company. So you're basically telling me to never speak bad about Smokey Jones. Fuck that shit. See, this is where y'all got me fucked up. All right. Like I said, I took down the stupid videos because it made not even just for, for the fact that it was defamatory because I know for a fact that shit isn't because I've seen it firsthand and I will explain why I've seen it firsthand and why I feel this way. But it compromises everybody else on that thread. I get that. I take that shit down. Fine. One, let me tell you something. I'm not out here to hurt nobody's business, even though y'all business already been hurt. From a customer's point of view, that when I went there to purchase items, I purchased a henna kit for my daughter. It was defective. It took a long ass time to even be able to exchange it to get a new one. Walking in that, the atmosphere is all off. You got certain people that don't even have customer service. You got others that you could tell they're just scared to be themselves. All right? Another factual non-defamatory claim or statement that I will never shut up about is the fact that you, Danny, got your jollies up being a man, walking into the establishment when Jess and the other pregnant girl were working and you yelled at them in front of customers about counting money, counting the register, cussing in front of customers. Where the fuck is that all right? And what mindset is that all right? But you got the stones to try to come after me? Why? You know, and, and it's making y'all look even better. Even better, right? Because it lets everybody know what's up, right? So you target someone that ain't got nothing to do with y'all. The thing that pissed me off was how you treated Jess. Yelling at her, cussing at her in front of customers. Like you some big bad motherfucker. Your, your fucking festival did terrible. That's not my fault. Because that shit, that's all you. You can't tell me never to talk bad about my bad experience with an establishment. Because I bought product from you and it was shit. I got it exchanged. It took forever, but I got it exchanged. Whatever. I post reviews. If you look at my my Google, I post reviews about many other places. So, you're not going to tell me not to fucking talk about some janky ass fucking smoke shop. I don't know who the hell y'all think y'all are, but nah. You wanted the fucking videos down, you got the fucking videos down. But I'm not apologizing because the shit was true. The shit is true and y'all could lie and, and fucking make it up and do whatever, but I don't care. Alright? I'm done with y'all fools. Y'all can pursue whatever the fuck you want. Take my pennies. I don't give a shit. Because at the end of the day, you still fucking with a fucking family. A struggling family. That y'all know well. And y'all gonna fuck with them because... Of a 30 view fucking YouTube video saying that y'all lost business over that shit. Bullshit. You just vindictive. And you do this type of shit. Whatever, bro. You live your life. That's that. I took down the stupid videos. I don't give a fuck. Because at the end of the day, you're always going to get these new kids that come in, don't know shit. But why you think your turnover rate so high? Why you think nobody hang around? The shit speaks for itself anyways. And again... It wasn't no shit that got shared with Jess that she shared with me. It was already on Snapchat. So good luck finding out whoever the hell is sharing that shit first. But you want to come down on us like we the ones that started that shit? Nah, nah, I'm not doing that shit. So Miss Lawyer Lady, good luck. Do whatever the fuck you got to do. I took down the videos and that's about it. I'm not apologizing for shit. Especially with y'all. From what I've read from the, your Lawyer Lady. From obviously dealing with y'all firsthand. Nah. Good luck. That's all you're going to get from me. That's it. Otherwise, y'all could get the bone.